Kai Said greets people in Tunis. Reuters Tunisia's Electoral Commission said on Tuesday law professor Kai Said and detained media mogul Nabil Karoui won the most votes in Sunday's presidential election, beating veteran political leaders to advance to a second round runoff. It is a sharp rejection of the established forces that have dominated since the 2011 revolution but failed to address the economic troubles that include high unemployment and inflation. Tunisia's president has only limited powers, controlling foreign and defense policy, while a prime minister chosen by the parliament manages other portfolios. Tunisia's main political parties are now turning to a parliamentary election on October. 6. Tunisians have written a new and brilliant page in the history of Tunisia, Said told reporters at his humble headquarters in the heart of the capital after the announcement, I am an independent but I am ready to work with all parties to build a new Tunisia. Karoui's QALB Tunes party did not release any immediate statement, with the candidate still in jail over allegations of tax evasion and money laundering, but it issued footage showing supporters watching the commission's declaration and cheering. He denies the charges. The announcement, following a full count of votes, confirmed exit polls released on Sunday evening and partial results issued throughout Monday. No date has yet been set for the second round pending any appeals to the first round results, but it must take place by mid-October. Said took 18.4% of the votes and Karui 15.6%. Of the other 24 candidates, who included the Prime Minister, two former Premiers, a former President and the Defence Minister, the moderate hardliner and a candidate Abdel Fattah Moru came in third with 12.9%. Said, little known before the election, is a constitutional law professor who ran a modest campaign with next to no publicity or funding, espousing conservative social views while pushing for a return to the principles of the 2011 uprising. Several losing conservative candidates, including former President Monsef Marzouki, came out in support of Said. Enida congratulated the two candidates without formally backing either. No losing candidates have yet endorsed Karui. Karui, a well-known but controversial figure, is the owner of a major television news channel and founder of a large charity that focuses on the plight of Tunisia's poor. He was detained weeks before the election over a tax evasion and money laundering case brought three years ago by an independent transparency watchdog. He denies all wrongdoing and his supporters attribute his arrest to political manipulation. He's unable to take part in televised debates before the vote and electoral monitors have voiced concern that voters have been deprived of a chance to hear him campaign. A Karui victory in the second round could raise difficult legal and constitutional questions given his status in detention in a case for which no verdict has yet been delivered. The commission said that if Karui wins the runoff, it will send his name to the parliament and the matter will then be for it and the judiciary to resolve. A constitutional court, mandated by the 2014 constitution, has not yet been set up. Tumbling turnout, down from 64% in Tunisia's first democratic polls in 2014 to just 45% on Sunday, was a reflection of voters' fatigue with political infighting, analysts said. The abstention was a sign of a rejection of the system rather than disinterest, said political scientist Hams Ahmedeb. People are fed up with a political class which failed to respond to their economic and social expectations, he said, criticizing candidates for their lack of thought and vision. Sophie Bessis, a historian said senior politicians had failed to convince voters that they would resolve the basic problems. The two frontrunners minus law professor and independent Kai Said and jailed media magnate Nabil Karoui minus cornered the anti-system vote despite the latter being seen as part of Tunisia's elite, Medeb said. Media magnate is under provisional detention on money laundering charges, increasing the pressure on the judiciary to release him if he goes through to a second round. Agencies let's block ads. Why?